Hey, what's up party people? My name is DJ Simplino and today I'm gonna show you how to make the drop the big room drop so here is the project 130 as you can see and uh, let me play this track It sounds massive, it sounds full as you can see on my analyzer. So I want to explain what elements is in the drop and the main element of the track is the melody. So as you can see I have three layers. The first one is silent. It sounds like this. super attacky and uh, it gives a lot of high frequencies the next one is also silent so I add EQ as you can see Valhalla room is my reverb I really like to use it some fab filter as you can see I add about 3 dBs here and remove some extra high frequencies another EQ because I cut a lot of high frequencies because it gives a lot of harsh so we don't need it in this track the next layer is also from silent is the same preset as second layer but is octave down as you can see and it sounds like this Let me play it together. It sounds big, so if you have this kind of melody, you can only add some low frequencies, some bass line and kick drum. So that's actually it. The next element in my track is a kick drum sounds like this it's super powerful and big kick drum it's actually from bass house pack but I use it for my big room track because I really like it so I just add some mid bass called driver I have only one preset and uh, I don't even add some sub frequencies just one preset for mid bass and my big kick drum it already sounds big so the first rule when you make track if it sounds good it is good and uh, if your kick drum sounds big you don't really need to add another uh, synth or another bass line. The next element will be percussion. It's super useful element. As you can see I cut all of the low frequencies. It's kind of rip rhythmically thing and uh, it's necessary in my opinion because sometimes when you add some drums like this the track become sounds way more powerful so here's a percussion and uh, another loop it's also from bass house pack something like white noise or this kind of thing then I add another percussion it's called spinning tom sound like this Another element is my uh, vocal sample, sounds like this, Japanese, I use it a lot, I use it in every single big room track, 
and then after my melody out of my melody I made some chords it sounds like this it's actually a pad and uh, I cut some low frequencies and I add the, this plugin called Stereo Enhancer and uh, I use this preset for strings because we need to pan every single element because the main melody is like uh, in, in center so you don't need to clash with other elements so that's why I pan it and uh, I also recommend you pan all of your elements in, in the drop and another thing energy booster by cashmere it gives a lot of movement in, in the drop I really like to use it that's actually it it's all elements I explain it looks super simple but it sounds full because the main part of the drop is this kick drum if you have big massive kick drum your track will sound way more powerful if this tutorial was useful to you guys I will explain in the next episode this breakdown it's also sound interesting in my opinion <laughs> So thanks guys for watching, all the best.